Hello, my peeps. Since my doctor wanted me to get a test done, I thought it'd be easier to cover functions on the videos than the distributive property, so I decided to go to the end of chapter one and go over functions. A function is just naming a mathematical operation. That's all it is. So I have three functions at the top here. Now, I just made these up. f of x, g of x, and maybe h of x. So if I said, what is f of 3? You would say, okay, find the function called f. In this case, it's right here. Put in this number into this variable on this side. Now, whenever you replace a variable with a number, you always use parentheses. So it'd be 2 times 3 minus 1. Then you simplify it. 2 times 3 is 6. Minus 1 is 5. So f of 3 is 5. So if I said, okay, what's g of negative 2? You'd say, find the function g, that's f, that's a, oh, there's g. And put negative 2 in wherever you see x. So it'd be negative 2 in parentheses squared minus negative 2. Now, in parentheses, negative 2 squared would be negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Minus and minus is plus. So the answer is 6. So g of negative 2 is 6. So if I said what's h of 5, find the function h. There it is. Put in 5 where you see x. So it would be 3 times 5 plus 2. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus 2 is 17. So you're just doing mathematical operations and they named it. Now in this case, these functions are not important. In real life, it may be taxes. Uh, it may be the cost to pay someone. So right now, see if you can figure out for me using these functions, what is f of 4? And what is g of negative 3? So freeze the video, do those two, and then turn me back on. Okay, so f of 4, find the function called f. There it is. So it'd be 2 times 4 minus 1. So 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 1 would be 7. So f of 4 equals 7. So g of negative 3. I'm going to put that in for x. So it would be negative 3 squared minus a negative 3. So negative 3 squared would be negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Minus a minus is plus, so that would be plus 3. That equals 12. Now, using these three functions, see if you can figure out by yourself, then I'll do it, what f of 2 plus h of 5. I already did h5. Let's do h of 6 would be. What do you think that is? Use your brains. I know you can. See if you can figure this one out. Okay, so f of 2. Put in number 2. So it would be 2 times 2 minus 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Plus h of 6. So that would be 3 
times six plus two. So three plus, that'd be 18 plus two. So that would be 21 plus two is 23. So you just find the functions and do what the operation says. So using these three functions, what do you think this would be? F of seven divided by uh, 13. See if you can figure that out. Now F of seven, we're using this for function F. See if you can figure that out for me. So F of seven would be two times seven minus one over 13. 14 minus one is 13 over 13 is one. Okay, I thought I could do this all in one video, but it's not happening. So, see you on video number two.